Hey, what's up? It's your tech bro Charlie here and welcome back to where we take awesome out of the box. Now today we're talking about a phone that we've already talked about before, but it deserves it. That's because we're taking a look at the Motorola Moto G 5G Plus. The first quarter of 2021 is over, and as usual, the tech world does not slow or stop. Phones are releasing left and right, but there's one phone that still happens to find itself in our top smartphone lists. And despite being a phone that dropped sometime in mid-2020, here's why the Motorola Moto G 5G Plus is still one of our top picks. We already have a full review on the phone, so you can check that link up there. But for now, let's do a quick spec rundown. We have a Snapdragon 765 that is 5G capable, 8GB of RAM, and 128GB of storage that is expandable. We have a side-mounted fingerprint scanner, and you guys know how much I prefer this over the ones you can find on the back. Really glad that we're seeing less and less of those lately. We have a gorgeous design, and we got ours in surfing blue. These are the colors of the school I went to, so I'm pretty biased to the color. Plus, we get a subtle holographic dotted pattern that gives off a sort of prism effect when light shines on it. Okay, so moving on, we're gonna be talking about the highlights that make it one of our top picks. Highlight number one, the 6.7 inch CinemaVision FHD Plus display. We have an LTPS in-plane switching LCD, which is HDR10 enabled and offers better picture quality than standard LCDs. You can enjoy your favorite movies with a nice 21 by 9 aspect ratio. It's basically an ultra-wide display which would make both Netflix junkies and gamers very happy. Everyone is getting ultra-wide monitors and TVs to play their favorite games and watch their favorite shows. So why not a phone? The expandable storage means you can store even more of your favorite media and games to enjoy with the phone. So if you want to binge watch your favorite anime or K-drama, easy. It doesn't only look good, but it also gets a 90Hz refresh rate, which even some more expensive phones don't have. This makes the already clean looking UI feel very fast and smooth. And guys, once you go 90Hz on a display or phone, it's really hard to see 60Hz the same way again. It's really that good. Highlight number 2, the 48 megapixel quad camera system. We have a pretty good camera here even by 2021 standards, plus you get an 8 megapixel ultra wide, 5 megapixel macro, and 2 megapixel depth sensor. This is a really good set of lenses, and normally macro cameras we get for this price range are at 2 megapixels, but here we have 5 megapixels on the Motorola Moto G 5G Plus. But of course, I'll let the photos and videos speak for themselves. Check these out. And of course, we can't talk about the main cameras without also talking about the selfie cameras. That's because Highlight 3 is the ultra-wide selfie camera. We get a dual selfie camera setup here, so not only do you get a 16 megapixel quad pixel camera, but an 8 megapixel f2.2 ultra-wide as well. And once again, check out these samples so you know why they're a highlight. Both the main and selfie cameras are really good for making social media posts. So if you're thinking about making your own blog or vlog, maybe a TikTok or Instagram, this phone is a really good start. Next up, highlight number 4, 5G ready. Ultra fast for all. That could mean two things. First, it's a really affordable phone with everything packed including that 5G speed. And second, you can be any type of user a vlogger, a gamer, or maybe just someone who likes watching shows. You get to enjoy the 5G speeds doing all of that with this phone. And compared to LTE, 5G is a whole nother level. It's really that fast. Plus, more and more locations are getting access to 5G. And because this phone supports it, it basically future-proofs the phone. I mean, you may not have 5G available in your area just yet, but when 5G rolls in, don't you want to enjoy the speeds right away? 
And while we're at it, I'll talk to you guys about a common misconception that we have between LTE and 5G. Some people think that 5G actually burns more data, so that's a problem if you have a data cap. But the truth is, 5G and LTE use the same amount of data. The difference is, 5G uploads and downloads way, way faster. That means you can stream higher quality content without having to worry about buffering or slowing down or like pausing in the middle of your show. Plus that 1 gig update for your game is still just 1 gig, regardless if you're using LTE or 5G. The difference is with 5G, you get to play the game faster because it downloads in a flash. And to cap things off, highlight number 5, the 5000 mAh power battery that can last for up to 2 days. This massive battery ensures you can use all its awesome features without having to worry about running out of juice. And with moderate usage, Motorola claims that we can churn out about 2 days worth of battery life. And based on our pretty heavy battery test, it lasted 14 hours and 8 minutes to go from 100% to 20%. So with moderate usage, it's pretty easy to believe that 2-day battery life. This could be a product of how well optimized the phone is. You can watch your shows and play your games for hours on end without having to worry about charging. So there you have it, the Motorola Moto G 5G Plus and why it's still a top pick in 2021. You can grab one for 16,995 pesos. And that's a very fair number for the amount of features you're getting with this phone, even this year. It's definitely a bang for the buck future-proof smartphone that can hit a lot of birds with one stone. I mean, why get a dedicated camera phone or gaming phone when you can get a phone that can do all those things really well? Plus, it's one of the most affordable 5G smartphones now available in the market. And you never know, there might be discounts, so please do follow Motorola Philippines or Lenovo Philippines on Facebook for the latest products and promos. You can get the Motorola Moto G 5G Plus in Lazada, Shopee, and Lenovo exclusive and authorized resellers nationwide. You can check out reviews on this and many other smartphones on Unbox.page. Also, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. That's right, guys, subscribe because when we hit 250k subs, we're giving away a smartphone. So don't forget the hashtag sub to unbox. Also, hit the notification icon if you want to get updates when we drop them videos. Once again, it's your tech bro, Cholo, and I'll see you guys in the next one.